The time has come! The insane 2024 Chevy Colorado ZR2 Bison is almost here, Chris, Nate. 35 inch tires from the factory, multimatic suspension with hydraulic bump stops, and seats that air condition your butt. We've mobbed it through the desert, Chris, and slammed it into rocks. Sorry about that, Chevy. And now we know exactly how much it costs. We've gathered the Council of Truck Nerds. Chris, who owns a 2021 Bison with all the things. All the things. We have Nate, AEV's Western Regional Parts Sales Manager. Did I get that right? Yes, correct. That's, I that's did. The title. Yes. And me, because it's my channel. Let's mess with. <laughs> Let's mess with Chevy's online configurator and build Chris's theoretical dream bike. Uh, mine? Why yeah. is it mine? It's yours. Okay. We'll each give you our opinions if the price is worth it. And stay till the end to find out if Chris will make an irresponsible financial <laughs> decision. <laughs> and go. Special thanks to Techron for sponsoring Jason Explains Things. Use their complete fuel system cleaner at every oil change. All right, Chris, you're driving. Let's build your theoretical uh, new bison that you're theoretically a, a gonna, theoretical. You gotta bison. get a color that's good on thumbnails. What about dirt? We can color it dirt. <laughs> that actually probably doesn't look too bad. Dirt on the would thumbnails. look good in the forest, I but know. it would what? be invisible in the desert. Mm. <laughs> As someone who drives an invisible truck, I will trust your right? opinion. With all the <laughs> with all the dust around you, know it, what? you want that? <laughs> We're gonna go blue. Okay. I like blue. We're going blue. We're going, We're going blue. blue. All right, oh. next we got wheels. We have 17 inch beadlocks and oh, look at this. Well, there's an AEV one. With Nate, tell pads. us more about those wheels. Oh, oh, there's they're, a, there's they're, a whole those are thing. expensive wheels, Nate. <laughs> well, yeah, because they add two packages to it. That's what I've noticed. Oh, well, okay. See, which, uh, so this price change to add those wheels, you have to get the bison and package. And the bison package. And then scroll down to see the next package. Yeah, do we want to go over this? Yeah, stuff? we'll talk We about need that. to go over the, 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 the bison What's the package. package? I don't oh, know. it's a safety, safety package. package you have to buy yeah. as well mm -hmm. okay. to get it. So Bison's got to see. Yep. <laughs> okay. All right. So, so let's talk about the bison package, Nate. Do you want to lead this discussion since you're uh, the AEV representative here? I don't know. You guys seem like pretty good experts as well, but especially him. Bison packages, so uh, wheels. Uh -huh. You get a full skid pack package with mm -hmm. uh, from the front bumper front to transfer case, rear diff, fuel tank, rear yep. bumper, front bumper, all you know? the yep. all the. And hang. then then the big thing too is you get the 35 inch tires with the bison right. package. And then the hydraulic bump stops as well, or yes. they call it jount stops. Yes. Which I think between that and then all those skid plates, front rear bumper, which is... So this is definitely different, right? So the, the old Bison package on the last generation Colorado, that was $6,000? Ish. Yeah. Ish. Yeah. But yeah. it was just essentially protection and a cool uh, Wheel logo. flares, logos on the head. <laughs> and, a cool, and a cool logo in the seat. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'll disagree. It's got hey, stickers cool on the back. Hey, we made the video yeah. back in 2020 about that. I remember. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> so now we're getting, obviously, the prices uh, for the package has jumped by, like, what, uh, to $11,000? Cool. A lot more stuff. Uh, a, superior, mm -hmm. a superior suspension and 35s. From the factory. I mean, yeah, the capability for 35s is huge. Uh, yep. With the 35s, you also get mandatory now the uh, rear mounted spare tire carrier, which right. is pretty cool. Because the yeah. old one um, or it doesn't yep. fit underneath anymore. Which anymore. before you had to pay extra for on this guy. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. Well, I was just going to say that, you know, not only did you get the vertical tire mount, you also get the basically a larger fender flare from the factory to right. fit those 35s. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, so they, the high mark kit essentially already yeah, on here. It's already yep. factory, or they just made them bigger for those 35s. The hydraulic bump stops, which you still don't even have on this thing. Just saying, you can be an upgrade. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> but but then also with that new engine, you know, it's also uh, the new right. turbo engine works well with this whatever gear ratio mm -hmm. that comes from the factory. Yes. Which you didn't have to re-gear. So no. you have 35s, mm -hmm. a vertical tire mount, and a gear set that mm -hmm. works well with that uh, turbo four-cylinder. So I'll, yeah. I'll give you a pop quiz for a second. How much was a the upfit from the AEV factory bison? Oh, man. You wasn't might have that... this up before I... We can, yeah, we can put it on yeah. the screen if you're wrong, but I think it wasn't it like it was another like... 15... It was between twelve to fifteen thousand yeah. to put you know, on top of flares. a bison's MSRP, right? right? Correct. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So and I then mean, there was options on top of it that you can get a wedges. couple of things so, that aren't here. So yeah. like in the seventies, mm -hmm. and now we're getting a truck that's going to be in the low. We'll see. We'll see. I'm okay. gonna go ahead oh, and good. select this. No, I'm just here to push buttons. <laughs> 
We're gonna. That look was at an the expensive wheel you just got. Interior it was. <laughs> there was a little bit attached oh. to that wheel. <laughs> hey, we can change the color now. You couldn't do that before. Well, no, but that uh, perforated seats is what you mm -hmm. want. Yes, I because mean absolutely because it because it air because it does. But as I said in the intro. Oh, this adds stuff. Oh, oh, for a thousand bucks for air conditioned seats. Okay, what else does it Definitely. get? Oh, driver memory settings. That's very nice. Heated steering wheel. Mm -hmm. uh, if you if you don't have a heated steering wheel, you can't make fun of me no. for not having. So we one. have to select it. <laughs> Done. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> I would never make fun you guys of you for not having a heated steering wheel. Oh, you might. All cars should come with them. Yellow seat belts. Does it color. come with that? Oh, Get no, that. that's 50 nope. bucks extra. No, that's the You we're not need gonna... it. This is it's real super world. yellow. Okay. It's real world. All right, we're building the truck. If we were what famous you YouTubers, Jason's version would be. Oh, yeah. Are you, are you a UPS <laughs> truck driver? You need your yellow seat, mm -hmm. seat belts? Yeah. Heck yeah, dude. High vis seat belts. Okay. All right. Sports car where we get dumb. No, we're not doing that. Nah, you could do no. We're not going to do the recovery package because you can get a better one. From and we know a certain we company. know John from Come Up. He, he'll just yeah. well. This is a, a off road recovery kit, uh, winch by Come. Oh, it comes with the winch. But this is a Chevy recovery kit. Okay. Oh. Well, we we would do that. We would do that ourselves. We would do that we ourselves. Do, we did that ourselves last channel. Yes, yeah. we sure yeah. are. Yeah, yeah. 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 Do it uh, yourself. Safety package, off road lighting. Get out of here with nah, that. We do that ourselves. Technology. Where, t t uh, Chris, though, actually, go mm. back for a second. Mm. Uh, mm. The aux interior switch plate. What, talk about that. So what the aux interior switch plate is, is it's to mimic what kind of the, the, the Bronco has and a couple other companies. It's three switches, I believe, for the aux three. switch plate. Okay. Uh, they're in an incomprehensible position on the <laughs> truck. They're kind of low and to Thanks, driver man. of the wheel. We're not going to select that. Well... Hold on though. Okay. 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 Hold on though. What's up? Yeah, the, again, I, I'm, I'm people talking. People need to watch out for themselves. We yeah. Don't need we don't care about pedestrians. We don't care about those. Yeah. We have well, steel bumpers. We don't care about that. Well, they should know your back. But yeah. as somebody who off roaded in the 24 Bison with this guy, which was awesome, we'll talk more about that towards the end of the video. I think you need the cameras. This is an experience, you guys. It's challenging to, to see out, but the camera system is really good, but you have to rely on it, or, or a spotter. Obviously, their spotters are fantastic. They're doing a great job. I don't, I don't feel nervous about it at all. You feel like you're in a tank. You feel like you're in a truck tank. So you and I disagree? Uh, we do disagree. Jason wants the convenience package. I, Let me tell you about <laughs> HD. No, 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 no. I want the tech well, package, not the convenience package. You want the, I would- We already have that I one. would gladly get rid of a stupid heated steering wheel to have the freaking camera so you can see <laughs> around what about ventilated your seats? giant- Same package. Oh, we'll add that anyway. We have to get it. Oh. Look. Oh, your truck just got more expensive. You need it for safety. You don't need it for safety. You do? I disagree. This is against my will. <laughs> I just want everyone to know. Look at all the cool things you get. It's your name on the loan. All right, next. Options. Wheel flares. I mean, these are all pre-clicked, included in package. <laughs> Everything's clicked. Yeah, there's a lot of Spare tire carrier, stamp steel bumper, wheel flares, front bumper, winch ready, correct, Nate? Well, of course. Yeah. 100%. We don't Slight need lights. Negative. Slight no negative. Lights. Slight what? negative alert. Negative Slight negative alert. What do we got? The new Bison. Uh, does not have cutouts in the rear bumper for chase lights. No chase lights. Add You're right. Your own. Yep. You're right. That's, uh, they added all those dumb sensors. Uh, what I was told is that we didn't have space to build fit those lights in there with, I don't know, everything else that's mounting underneath yeah. that bumper. I mean, the big difference between this gen and the new gen is all the sensors. All the sensors. This truck yep. has yeah. precisely zero sensors. <laughs> <That one. laughs> Which is why when I added a chase light into my Tacoma's rear bumper with all of said sensors, I had like one tiny little spot to add a small light and that's yeah. all I could add. We got the Jounce control dampers. <laughs> <laughs> Old bronze recovery hooks. Ooh, Get out of here with that. I don't, I, they can't work with <laughs> Click on it and see if it works. No. Click on it and see if it oh. works. It, yeah, no, works. it works. It does. You can have bronze recovery <laughs> hooks. It, no. Awesome. For $150? Well, they'll match your shiny steel, shocks. No, they'll match your shiny shaft. shocks, Chris. Cool. The steel drive shaft may be necessary. Yeah. That would be good. That's good. not a terrible idea. That is not a terrible idea. Is it? Is it a $700 good idea? Mm. If you had to buy one at the market, it'd be Chris. 700 bucks. Can we get, he we added it. it. Oh, wow. I, I've thought about Good doing job, that Chris. to this truck. You can buy the $550 tow rope and We're not going to do that, though, Nate. That's ridiculous. Nate? If someone needs recovery gear, they should get the AV recovery gear. Yeah, why would gear? you prepackage so a video far about it on gear? Jason Explains Things? Is there a link below we can click on and watch there it? Why now? not? There is now. <laughs> <laughs> you can go buy it. All right. Uh, your local and now to the summary. Spot. Summary. 
She's a beaut. Yeah. She's a sixty-four thousand dollar beaut. I don't think that's that bad. Like, well, compared to what you get in Let's today's day out. and age. Yeah. No one's seen <laughs> it's happened. <laughs> it's ooh, estimate your trade in value. No. <laughs> We're I'm, not kid do I'm that right kidding. Now. I'm kidding. All right. No, that's that's so that's that's a that's a lot, but you get a lot for your so money. So this is sure. a healthy equipped Colorado bison. But if you look at comparisons on the market, which we'll do here shortly, but like who else has 35 inch tires? Mm -hmm. Front you know, rear lockers. Front rear lockers. Mm -hmm. All right. So you want to look at some comparisons? Let's look at them. Let's do let's do uh, GMC first. GMC, GMC first. Okay. So here we have a GMC AT4X AEV edition. Oh, see, they're the not going to tell you how much it costs. We're not going to find out how much that costs. <laughs> Let's just say it's probably not sixty-three thousand dollars. I heard a little thing where if you have to ask, uh, so we can continue. <laughs> you don't on. know what it is. Get out! Get out! You your, obviously can't afford it. Yeah. Get out, you pores. Yeah. Pinkies up. <laughs> Uh, we have Toyota, we have Jeep. Which one do we want to look at first? Let, let's do Toyota. All right. I Toyota. have some notes. Toyota with the biggest asterisk of all time. Yes. Because suspiciously missing is the TRD Pro. Yes, no TRD Pro uh, pricing available yet and no t uh, no Trail Hunter. No, you can't build any of those. So oh. what I have here is essentially the fanciest, pantsiest TRD off-road. <laughs> and, and as you can see, the price is not cheap. We've got $54,000. Four hundred and twenty-five dollars. Okay, which no, I I, I know I know. <laughs> this is the uh, this is uh, a two point four liter instead of a two point seven. We have less torque, less horsepower. Uh, the the eventual um, hybrid uh, will have more torque right. than than a ZR two or ZR two Bison, but we can't you can't price that out yet. And also, this uh, TRD off road has two sixty five seventy R seventeens. They are. 32s. 32. 265 so, is a generous 32. <laughs> well, <laughs> Nate, uh, a 315 is a generous 35. Yeah, oh, who can say? It's true. It's, well, <laughs> I looked it up. It's, it's true. true. Again, I'm a huge Toyota fan. I own a 4Runner and a Tacoma, but I don't know. Like, we'll take the Bison off of this and just talk about a ZR2 for a second. I, I built essentially what I would buy for a, a Colorado ZR2. That came with 33s and it's quite a bit cheaper than this and has every option that this has. So um, that's you know about, about $3,000 less for a ZR2 versus a Tacoma. Sure. At least in pricing. We don't know about reliability. All these trucks are brand new. They're all brand new. Nope. Um, well, yeah. I guess the last one we have to review is still the Jeep Ra Gladiator. Mm -hmm. It's Nate, been, it's you been built out for a few years. It's been out for a few years. So I, I built this Gladiator as, as close as I can to like some of the features that the, the ZR2 Bison is going to come with for safety features. And this is what I'm kind of surprised at is I don't think I even had steel bumpers on this build. Wow. Um, and it's, it's 67000 for a Jeep Rubicon Whew. Gladiator. Yeah. But this is comparable because it has... Um, <clears throat> You know, front rear lockers, it only comes with 33s. You probably could stick 35s on it with minimal work, mm. you know. This comes with 33s? 33s. Yep. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yep. The, so you the, don't even... The Chevy Colorado is surprisingly the biggest tire for uh, the small size truck. Yeah. No one else does 35s. Which is hilarious because it used to be the small... Well, it used to be tied with the small Tied with right? the small 31s yep. or 32s. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. They heard us loud <laughs> and clear. So... We, we've, we've looked at our builds. We have an, a general idea. Let's talk about driving this truck. Mm -hmm. We've talked about how much it costs. So mm -hmm. let's talk about driving it, uh, our experience, uh, most of your experience on and off oh. road because you didn't let me drive that much. <laughs> and, so, then, uh, and then we'll talk about whether the price you think is, is worth it for, for, for. So just an asterisk, I, I, I'd never driven the new uh, ZR2 uh, Colorado Bison. Weird, I have. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I've seen them in all so many You have, shows. right, Chris? I or, have, once or twice. For the <laughs> last, like, eight months, like, all these shows that like, we, we brought it to, but, GM, <laughs> like, GMC was just like, no, we're not giving you the keys. Like, <laughs> we'll have a guy that'll park it for us, and then uh, he'll go away, and we'll leave it on But they'll box. let me sign a paper and then, like, slam it into things. <laughs> yeah, so it's funny that you guys literally got the drive before I have, so <laughs> it's, it's pretty good. We'll put one in the wind column. Yeah, <laughs> I like it. Uh, honestly, I mean, and we have a video we uh, sure do. about Go our driving it. impressions but it, it i think the biggest thing for me and something that none of the competitors have is the the shock jounce um it cannot oh, yeah. be understated uh, yeah with flogging them 
I, I, I thought it was kind of gimmicky until until you when you it. hit the wumps and you you just go and you can hear and it them. just encourages yeah. you to keep going faster and faster it's it's <laughs> kind of insane you, uh, you so yeah. if if for those who haven't haven't experienced it with the hydraulic bump bump stops the like the faster you go uh you 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 know you go over a bump you hit the ground you compress a little bit you hear like a metallic click mm -hmm. sound but it's just like squish yeah it's progressive yeah. instead of yeah. the hard stop on right. a traditional bump stop um, yeah. which is is insane and it, it, it's very confidence inspiring yeah like it just said. it's like yeah. it's like whispers in your ear to like hey you want to be more you can do a little more you can do a little more <laughs> come on buddy yeah <laughs> Yeah, it's very cool. Uh, and then, you know, the added benefit of, and that's something I've, I've found in this truck too, is is knowing you have the the underbody protection. Right. Um, also confidence inspiring. Uh, yep. You know, it's 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 nice knowing that all that's there. Uh, yeah. So. Yeah, no, I, I totally agree. It, um, the old, I mean, I guess, uh, you know, uh, devil's advocate, slightly negative thing would just be uh, apparent. We did Ooh. ask an engineer at the at the event. Mm -hmm. uh, it is not re-geared uh, in any way. So obviously you went through all the process of re-gearing this, mm -hmm. you know, so that you have, you know, the, 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 the torque that you're used to and things like mm -hmm. that. So you don't slow things down. All that the new uh, Bison has when, with adding 35s is obviously the improvements we talked about, but also, you know, the proper programming for the uh -huh. transmission, things like that, mm -hmm. so you don't. And I will say, again, we drove a pre-production model, but I will say the gas mileage on the new Bison, very comparable <laughs> uh, to this old guy. <laughs> so be that Comparable well. meaning bad. Sure. <laughs> yeah. What, so what was it? What was it on the... On let's the, say what it was. I mean, that's not fair. No, it was pre-production. It was like 13 okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. to But it was all I was doing was going from the hotel down well, the street no, we to off-road. Well, no, we were... We were it was an out... No, it was... It was like... No, no, It was 13.7 we after an hour of highway mileage. Oh, whatever. Yeah. You guys were like mobbing <laughs> it all the way. No, we were not speeding. We were yeah, not yeah. speeding in Southern California. We were not speeding. How, who would? Yeah. No. But we literally weren't speeding. So Nate, final thoughts. Obviously, I know you're a Jeep guy. You uh, you own a Wrangler uh, AVJL 370, right? That's correct. That's your personal vehicle. Yeah. You currently have another one, and you've driven a you've had a you've had a work Gladiator. What do you what do you think? It's a what do you think it's, all this? it's a tough choice because like the Colorado, I've driven both of the red Colorado. You guys have right. videos of and yep. the green Gladiator that we have videos of. Yep. And I really enjoyed driving um, the Colorado because it was still off-road capable, but it handled on the road a lot better than the Gladiator. Um, the Gladiator is obviously more capable off-road. Yeah. Um, yeah. But the Colorado can still hang. Like it still was able to do all the, like a lot of the same stuff. You just need to rely on the lockers a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Sure. Or sure. take a, a little bit more calculated line. Yeah. And that's what's kind of the fun thing about the Colorado is that, like it. It was a great everyday driver, but mm -hmm. still off-road capable, where the Gladiator was off-road capable first, and then on-road was kind of their, their second thought. So gotcha. correct. Correct. I, it's, 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 I don't know, it's a hard choice. Like, I, I really like the, the Colorado because I have a Wrangler at home that if sure. I want to do something hard, I can use that. Sure. But if I have to have one truck where I can daily drive and drop my kids off at school and then still go off to Moab and do some trails out there, mm -hmm. the Colorado's not a bad choice. No. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, again, like I, I, I've owned, I've owned the first generation Colorado before kind of getting into uh, that was more back in the camping days before the off roading days, um, and and so I, I like, I like, I like Chevy. I, I, I'm a little more, I think I have a little more love in my heart for Toyota just because I enjoy how they're designed and how easy they are to work on. Little things are just simpler than they are on other brands. <laughs> it's just true. It's fair. Uh, <laughs> but uh, no, I mean, I especially. Once they announced all the pricing for the new Tacoma, I'm like, hmm, hmm. Colorado looks more attractive to me than it used to. I'll say that. So, Chris, final thoughts. Are you, uh, are you gonna, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna get one? I hate it. <laughs> you hate yeah. it. It's, uh, Chris I mean, hates this. Obviously, <laughs> obviously, I'm very biased. Uh, there's, I mean, all the things, I'll just echo all the stuff that you guys said. Yeah, I mean, that's one of the reasons why I bought this truck is the everyday usability versus the off-road prowess. Sure. Um, and it's great, and I've had a ton of fun with it, and links, links, links. And, uh, <laughs> but another thing, and this isn't Bison-specific, but another thing that really impressed me about the new Colorado is the interior 
<laughs> yeah. People yeah. people love to to joke about this guy <laughs> oh. because the interior looks like it's out of mm, 2002. <laughs> Uh, which is nice in ways because there's there's physical buttons, there's not as much touchscreen, and the new one does have a lot more touch. But some stuff was buried. We didn't say that, but yeah, some, some, stuff, stuff, was buried, some stuff was buried, uh, and they've already made some changes to fix that. But overall, right. the interior is worlds ahead of where this one was, and um, quiet on the freeway, very quiet like going seventy miles an hour on thirty fives. Mm -hmm. It's quiet, super quiet truck. Uh, yeah. I was very impressed with the everyday drivability as well as the off road. So yeah, I mean, this is a great truck. Am I going to buy it? Stay tuned. <laughs> oh, <laughs> ending with a with a cliffhanger. No, yeah, that's right. uh, those are our thoughts. What do you guys think? Uh, leave a comment below. Let, let let us know what you think of of these different trucks and how they compare. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's, either way, I I know it's expensive. All of this stuff is getting too expensive. That kind of sucks, but mm -hmm. but they're still cool. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I think we should revisit this. Yes. Once the Trail Hunter and TRD Pro are available. Mm, what do yep. you guys think? Oh, do you want us yeah. to keep doing these? We should, yeah. We, uh, do you, we, could, we could do more discussions. We could even do live streams, maybe. Mm. <laughs> no editing. <laughs> Without editing. No editing would be kind of nice. <laughs> wow. <laughs> maybe, uh, that'd be interesting. Yeah, be kind of fun. Comment we're, below. We're up for it. So anyway, until next time, everyone, God bless. Don't forget to do yourself. Oh, man. Cheers. These bears are good. These are, are good, good bears. bears. I love bears. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. <laughs>